Hi, and welcome to Antoinette's Kitchen. I want to welcome you into my kitchen. I'm getting ready to attempt to stuff a redfish. This is supposed to be a contest, but I think my neighbor bagged out. He didn't want to compete in this contest. You know, you just cannot compete with the best in my kitchen. Now, I'm going to attempt to stuff this redfish. And as you can see, I have a fresh redfish. I have all my beautiful fresh herbs. Look at this, the onions, the shallots, or the green onions. My bell pepper, and of course my fresh parsley and my celery. I have that all ready to go. Now, I want to also demonstrate something else to you. That these are, this is my green onions. And you see these little roots right here? Well, instead of throwing this away, what we can do is cut it maybe like an inch and a half so we can go directly. Plant it into a flower pot and have your own green onions. Save yourself some money to store also, here's my um, my seeds for my green peppers. Look at that. I'm going to plant this. This summer, I had so many green peppers. I mean, I had red peppers, green, yellow, all from the seed. I didn't have to buy one seed from the store. And if you look at your green pepper, here it is. See that? Look all those seeds in there. You have so many seeds in there. You would have green peppers to share with your neighbors. And here's my fresh parsley. Especially for young people, you need to know that eating healthy is always eating fresh. Um, the genealogy of cooking for me, I remember coming up as a child, you know, red meat, lots of vegetables. But of course we had a lot of food that we just, the vegetables, we overkilled in cooking. That's the way that we did that. Uh, but of course it was very good, but that's what they knew during that time. Lots of heavy gravies. And so if you look at the green onion here. Especially for the young people out there. I know a lot of you all don't buy uh, fresh vegetables and fresh um, season. Well, this is not a season, but this is a vegetable. But here it is. Herbs, I'm sorry. But look at, the, look at your roots right there. You just stick that in the ground. You have green onions. And your celery. There it is. You need the fresh stuff and onions. You can't get enough of what it would give to the flavor of your food. But anyway, I have my herbs here. My hot, a little hot chili, a little paprika, a little thyme, and just a pinch of the bay leaf. I remember as a child when I first saw the bay leaf in gumbo or uh, spaghetti, I said, wow, they're putting leaves in the food now. And I remember, you know, growing up and neighbors had walnut trees, bay leaf trees, lemon trees, all of those things, all of those natural foods we had right on our own land. I was telling my neighbor Wallace this morning about the red, about these tomatoes. I said, well, I can see that this is not, they didn't grow this right here in Tangerville Parish because it's not red enough and juicy and they're very firm. But we'll settle for that. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and fix my stuffing. And you can stuff the red fish with anything you want to stuff it with. You know, you can take another speck of trout and, you know, sort of like you know, put it in a chopper and get it real fine with your seasons to your own. Everybody cook to their own taste. So what I'm going to do right now, I've already started some of my stuffing, so just come on over here with me a little bit. What I'm going to do, I've already added a little olive oil, but let me do this here first. Let me get my season. And again, as to how much you like, get it your own taste. That's what people cook to their own taste. And I'm cooking to my taste. And we're supposed to have a contest, so we're going to have this contest and see what these two different fish But I've never left I taste this fish and it was very tasty. Very tasty. Little onions there. I'm going to go ahead and saute that a little bit. If you like me, you like plenty fresh seasoning your food. You know, when we think about cooking, we want to think about eating healthier these days because, you know, the way health care is coming along, we all have to do what we have to do to take care of ourselves. So eating he very healthy, getting away from Big Mama's rice and gravy. All right, I have my seasoned fine here with a little fish. Some people will probably use shrimp or crab meat in there stuff in that fish, but I prefer to use a fish. Alright. 
while I work that down, I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of green onions. Let me just get the green onions in here. Boy, the smell and the aroma of fresh season is always so inviting. A little green pepper. And if you look at it, there's a liquid of the green pepper. I didn't throw it away. I just really put it in a little chopper and got it where I can get those juices flowing out. Again, like I said, cooking is to your own taste buds. This is a Sunday, and just listen to a little jazz. I'm gonna go ahead and bring my spices over here and spice everything up. Okay, not that much chili pepper. If you don't like a lot of spicy food, I would advise you not to put that much, just a little, little bit. You know, the one thing, I, oh my goodness, oh, oh, oh. One thing I can remember about my grandmother and my aunt, my mom cooking in the kitchen, those women never measured anything. They just cooked. Some of the best pound cakes and all of that. I, my, my neighbor, Miss Ruby, just made a 7-Up, I think it was... I don't know, a seven up cake or something like that, but I don't know what the cake was, but it was so good that I found myself eating two pieces of this woman's cake. Oh my god, that cake was dangerous. Okay, I'll put a little time in there a little bit. All right. I need a little bit more olive oil. Let's get some olive oil in here. Just a little bit. There we go. I'm just going to go ahead and turn the heat up on it a little bit so we can get some real sizzling taste. The amount of salt and pepper you would use, again, that would be some your taste. And you just go ahead and put a little bit more olive oil. There we go. And once I do this, I've already put the fish into the sauce, into my um, stuffing. Smells good. Just a little bay leaf, just a little, little bit. I remember bay leaf as a child. I thought we was cooking with food with leaves outside the house, but we just put a little bit for season. All right. Now I'm gonna take this and go ahead and put it like this. like fresh food. All right, here we go. All right, I'm gonna bring this over here. There we go. There's my stuffing for my red fish. Just thicken it up a little bit. So it wouldn't be too loose. But of course, when it bake inside the fish, it'll really tighten up a little bit. But your salt and your pepper and any other season that you want to put in to your stuffing would be just good. I'm going to take and season my red fish. I mean, I'm going to tell you something, that stuffing is just off the hook, as they would say. You know, when I told you about the paprika, that was just a little bit too much. But that's all right. We can, we can deal with that. That's why they say, I guess, measure things. But again, it's to your taste. But I want this fish to taste so good because my competition think that he can outdo me. So I have to just show him a little something. That I know a little something in the kitchen. He's looking for... Something happened to this fish. I'm going to go ahead and start stuffing my fish. I'm going to just clean my hands up a little bit. Get my olive oil ready. This fish is going to be so good. I guess the judges today, we're going to blindfold them since they saw us cooking. 
you know how it is when some people think they can cook so good but refuse to be on the camera. That's what I had today. But let me just drink a little smoothie to that. Fresh bananas and oranges and apples. And I'm gonna I'm go ahead and bathe this this fish down in some nice olive oil. Blessed as they would say. Olive oil is good for so many things. You know, we think about back in the days, and I like to reflect back on the days when, you know, Big Mama knew to go get the olive oil. We had an earache. Then, you know, those people really knew. And we gave all of that up for the fast food industry. You know, I want to cook our own meals and everybody wanted it instantly. But I'm going to go ahead and put just a little season, just a little bit, not much. So I can just go through that and put a little bit on the inside here. I'm going to go ahead and just give myself a little bit. Because the stuff ain't going to go through it. But I still want some of that, that raw seasoning to go through it. Just give me a little spoon. I like to watch the cooking shows on TV. Presentation is everything, too. That's very important when somebody's cooking. We have a little onions, a little, a little presentation is everything. You know, no matter how much we eat out, we certainly can enjoy home, you know, cooking inside and a little jazz. Feel good to be relaxed. And this is one of my second pastimes. So I got this fish all stuffed on the inside. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and put some of this stuffing on the inside and just stuff him. I didn't let the spoon touch the fish, so just go ahead and drop it in there and then we're going to pack it. Yeah. It's a messy little job, but it's going to taste so delicious once I'm done. And then I'm going to let, I want you to come over here and see this for yourself. And for those of you who thought I didn't know how to cook, I got news for you. Yeah, I know how to cook too. Turn the camera off, my fish is wasting. I had to turn the camera off because some things you just don't want to show on the camera, but my stuffing was falling out and I had to call my competition. Of course, he threw that in my face. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, just get a little onion. I love onions. My grandfather used to eat onions a lot. Fresh. You know, one thing about what I can call about my grandfather, well, not my grandfather, but his brother, my grandfather passed. 1962 and I didn't I couldn't recall ever being around him because I was two years old when he passed away uh, but his brothers they would always have fresh vegetables all the time so I'm just gonna go ahead I'm not gonna cut this onion up too little because I kind of want that, that that season to go through there a little bit not a lot of it that is overbearing, but just a little bit. Now remember, there's no right way, a wrong way to cook food if, if you like it. If it tastes good to you, it might not taste good to everybody else, but if it tastes good to you, that's all that matters. Well, if you're trying to feed your family, of course, it got to taste good to them. But I'm going to go ahead and look like I might need a little bit more outside season, so I don't want to put too much of that hot chili. So I'm going to go ahead and put this away right now because that is just too overbearing for me Put a little time just put a little time on it because all the season from the the stuffing will go directly into that fish and I mean it's gonna be good you don't have to cook it that very long You don't want your lemons to dry up. You want it to look fresh and, and tasty. You don't want all that to happen. I'm just going to go ahead. Now you can save some of your little parsley for after because presentation is everything, you know. Cooking is an art too. So I'm just going to go ahead and just lay this here. Just for presentation. I just love presentation when I'm cooking. Alright, now I have my lemons. Look at that. 